everyone, this is Eric Sloof, and I'm at an amazing party, the VMware Benelux party in the harbor of Barcelona. There are some beautiful ships surrounding us and a lot of nice people. And one of those people is Frank Denneman. Everyone knows Frank, and Frank recently joined VMware. Good evening, Frank. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Eric? I'm fine. Thanks, Frank. So, you joined VMware again after uh, an absence with... Uh, with uh, the, 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 the caching company, I won't say their name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I won't offend you. Okay, no, it's a, it's been a nice story, it's been a crazy story, uh, but that, that's for another time, right? So after three years of, of going to a startup uh, and quitting, VMware reached out and they said, we have a really, really cool pro, uh, project and we want you on it. I'm like, okay, can you tell me a little bit more? I'm like, no, we can't because it's really NDA, so you have to sign first and then we're, uh, we, can, we can inform you. So a couple of CTOs uh, contact me and like, you really need to do this. So I'm like, okay, let's do it. And I, and, I, and I always felt a little bit like VMware, right? So I said yes, and then when, we, when they brought me in, they said, we're going to do VMware Cloud on AWS. And I thought that was brilliant. It was really brilliant, right? Yeah, before, before it was revealed, yeah. you did the presentations, the well-received presentations at the VMworld in Las Vegas regarding the NUMA, and you also posted some good articles on your website, and everyone was in the impression, he's going to do the same thing again, why do they take him back? But now uh, the rabbit is outside the hole, yeah. and you're going to do AWS. It's, yeah. it's amazing, and after this morning's Keynote. Yeah. I can imagine that you're very excited about leading this product. Yeah, so I was excited from the moment I, I heard it. And that's the worst thing ever, right? You want to tell everybody, like, this is way cool. And so I had to bite my lip for over a month. And everybody went like, what are you going to do? Can I tell you? Can I tell you? So we, when we released it, when we announced it on Thursday, Pat with NES, Jesse, the CEO of AWS, we could finally talk. So I say I wrote the first article, it went almost viral, right? And it's insane. And the, if you see the amount of energy, especially in the keynote, that was crazy. So when we announced it and when Pat was on, on stage together with Mark Lohmeyer, the VP of the Cloud BU, everybody started like there was a, some sort of buzz going on. But when we dropped the Elastic DRS on everybody, Everybody just stopped, talk, started talking, and, and, and nobody listened anymore. So yeah, there, there was a real buzz when oh, the demo wow. started, and, yeah. and suddenly people realized what an amazing power, what an amazing opportunities this technique could 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 be for 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 customers. Yeah, and that's the beauty because everybody talks about a hybrid cloud, and what is hybrid cloud? If you talk to a hundred, so I was talking to Massimo today, Massimo Rivera, and I said, "Give me the definition of a hybrid cloud," and he said to me. Look, if you, if you ask 100 people, you get 100 different answers, right? And that's true. But with this, this you will get to use your own VMware, your vSphere infrastructure, your SDDC, and then go to AWS and spin up the same thing, but still use the global scale of AWS and the elasticity of AWS. And if you think about IT at scale, they rock. They are insane, right? But, but this is the momentum. So you can deploy an ESXi host and vCenter on AWS. You have NSX, so you can stretch your layer two networks. And on top of that, you have long distance vMotion with 150 milliseconds of latency that is allowed over layer three. So you need those ingredients to make this possible. Yeah, and if you look closely, you see that the things we released over the years, now finally they all come together, like VXLAN, like integrated um, uh, link mode, enhanced link mode, like what you said, uh, long distance vMotion, right? Vmotioning between two vCenters, because what happened with, with uh, vCloud and AWS, you use your own data center, your on-prem data center, but you spin up a data center anywhere around the world in AWS. So you have your vSphere host on bare metal, you have your NSX, you have your vSAN, and you're running a vCenter in uh, in the cloud, so you you link those two, and then you get a one single plane of glass. Sorry for the buzzword, but that's it, right? And with NSX, you can stretch the security policies, and you can vMotion things in and out, and that's the beauty. You can actually say, I want to run inside AWS or in my on-prem, uh, in my in-cloud data center, or return it. And especially when you're, when you, for example, 
you're going to buy another con uh, company in another country or you're going to get another business unit in another country, right? So one of the first things you need to do is, is build a data center. So either you go cloud or you go co-location or whatever. So you need to get contracts, you need to do the networking, you need to set up everything. Well, with this, it's just logging into the portal and yeah. say, where do I want to spin up a data center? Yeah. And within in a couple, well, a fa I cannot say the amount of minutes, but really fast, you have- it's Instantly. Almost yeah. instantly, you have a data center spun up with full functionality, which you can vMotion your, your, uh, your, your workload into. Right. I think that's seriously brilliant. You as a vSphere admin, which you've been using vSphere for like 10 years, you can use your same skill set and go to AWS. And once you're basically used to your whole idea, you can then think about, okay, which AWS services can I use? Right. So the ecosystem already available in AWS fits perfectly into those virtual machines that are that are landing there. Exactly, and that's the beauty. So you can ease into the AWS story, right? You can rethink your application, but only when you want to. You don't need to re-platform your application. You don't need to to tell your operation team that, hey, it's going to be different, right? You can use your legacy or your normal application and you can move it somewhere else. I think that's the brilliant part of it. Yeah, it's great. Well, Frank, many thanks for this short interview. It was very informative. Cool. I, I wish you all the best luck in your new role. Enjoy the VMworld and enjoy this party. Cool, thank you for having me.